Hello everybody, this is Super Paladin here, and welcome to my gameplay of Infinite Crisis Superman. This is a job for Superman. Superman is a melee attack damage champion, able to close up the gaps and deal a lot of damage up front. Let's take a look at his passive skills, his regular skills, and his signature skill, provided by Infinite Crisis. His passive is Man of Steel. After dealing damage with a skill, Superman gains a shield for a short time. After gaining the shield, each of his other skills can increase the shield's power. Kryptonian Might gives your next basic attack additional attack damage. You have it has a maximum of two charges and using it consumes a charge. The enemy power is at 50 power. Use Frost Breath to exhale a frosty cone of power damage that slows enemies for a short time. <laughs> Heat Vision fires a targeted energy blast at your enemy dealing power damage and knocking them back. God, this. You have defeated an enemy. Your target is also revealed and using heat vision again causes Superman to dash to your target. Up, up and away! Superman's ultimate is speeding bullet. He flies directly to a targeted enemy and strikes them and nearby enemies for attack damage. He can be intercepted by other enemy champions while in flight, but is immune to disables. You could see based on his attack, health, and power attributes that he seems to be a hybrid kind of character, kind of all around. Um, a lot of people like to focus on his offensive attributes. Um, I have quite a lot of times, but I've also tried him as a tank, and it's met with success. So you can definitely go with attack and health builds. I've tried to go with the power build. I haven't met with success yet, but if you welcome to try that out if you want to. So it sounds like I'm doing some sort of big guide walkthrough thing for Superman. Uh, I'm not, by the way. I wouldn't say I'm an expert or pro at Superman. I'm pretty good with him, but I don't want to give you any wrong information. Um, I'm just going to show you some gameplay from a casual, hardcore, average gamer point of view of Superman. And in this one, I think I'm going to go with a offensive build for Superman. going to go, um, not exactly pure attack, but gonna be buying a lot of offensive items for this one. Um, great to be working with Shazam and Batman. Stood. I've always wanted to do that. I haven't really been on... I have been a couple of times on Batman's side, but it wasn't as Superman. It was as uh, Robin. So that was kind of like a mentor sidekick type, but now we can be the world's finest duo, me and Batman. That is, if Batman's gonna work with me. Um, I don't know if he's gonna go with Shazam or Green Arrow. Or we're gonna do this. We're doing the famous four, four up, one down strategy, which is where four people go up and one person goes down to do the bot. Um, I'm not too much strategy, strategy, um, smart in this. Not in terms of um, you know, ganking and stuff, but in terms of like, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm saying now. I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, there's some terms I still don't understand, but you can kind of guess a lot of times. For the most part, you know, whatever. But um, you kind of get the strategy of it once you play around a bit. Um, here I'm trying to decide, should I ambush him? So here I'm following Batman for now. We're going to be the world's finest duo. Now, um, the thing with Batman is he's also, um, also an up-close melee character, like me. So we're both going to be getting up close and doing some damage. Oh, oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. No Alright, there we go. Save me, save me, somebody save me. Get him. Okay. There we go. That was a close call. I'm gonna get stealth mode and go to base by pressing B. Um, for the most part, I think for everything, actually, I have the control set to default. As far as I know, this game is only for the uh, PC. Um, I don't know if it's gonna come out for console, console or not. Um, I kind of wish this would go out for console and become cross-platformer. Now over there I was trying to push Aquaman into our base so the turret would get him, but yeah, we got um, Joker, which is fine. Here we go, me and Batman team him up on Aquaman. Yes, we got him, we got him. Alright, I got him. There we go. 
It's not about who kills who, it's about winning, but um, it does get kind of annoying when people steal your your kills, but that one I don't really care. Um, yeah, sometimes your ally, you'll notice sometimes that they try to... I'm not saying Batman was there back there, but I'm saying like sometimes while you're playing the game, you'll be with people and you can tell they're kind of holding back their power because they want to like snatch the kill from you. And you know, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say you shouldn't do that. I mean, you know, you it'll be good for you, uh, not so much for your ally. But I'm not sure if you both get the stats for beating the champion. I think you do get an assist point though, if whatever worth that is to you. Um, but yeah, you just uh, it's all about winning though, and victory and good sportsmanship. Let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes it's better to just not talk to in gaming. Oh, I couldn't shift Shazam. Shazam. Here. That's one thing with Superman. What I really like about Superman's gameplay with his skills is that you can use him to approach. Now, right there, you, you notice I had my, um, I could have tried to, uh, well, no, I couldn't have tried because it was still on cooldown. But, uh, I tried to lead him to our turret, so the... Doomsday would take a lot of damage to the turn. I was hoping it would slow him down or make him go away, but it didn't. I should have seen that. But anyways, what I was saying about Superman's skills is uh, Frost Breath and Heat Vision are very versatile. Here I use Frost Breath to slow down Doomsday and then Heat Vision to push him back. Now uh, normally you can use um, Heat Vision to approach the enemy. As you can tell from the video, if you press Heat Vision again after using it, you'll dash to your opponent. So first you push them away and then you can dash towards them for attack damage and then frost breath to slow them down so they either can't get away or to slow them down so they can't reach you. So that's the pretty versatile thing about Superman's skills. 3 on 2. Alright, we got this, we got this. Where's Arceus? Where are you going Shazam? Alright, there we go. He's using his signature skill. Does pretty good damage. Alright, we got him, we got him. Oh, Doomsday trying to get away. Come on, if my heat vision and frost breath activate. All right. Heat vision to get close, use the frost breath to stop him from getting away, and we got him. There we go. Now you can see right there, um, a few seconds ago when they showed who killed who, it showed my icon right next to Shazam's because that was the assist, and Shazam was the main killer. Of course here you don't actually die, you just incapacitate, you know, a fancy word. Oh, should I go help him? Yeah, I should go help him. There we go. I was wondering because I said if I come help him and by the time he's dead. Now I'm here, I'm gonna use my signature. There we go. Signature charges at him, but it wasn't enough to kill him. It's kind of a waste, but worth the try. Now you don't wanna just oh whoa, okay. That was close. I almost thought um I was playing. Now this is a lot of things people don't don't remember they don't think about in the game is oh I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die somebody help me I'm gonna die okay I don't think anybody's close enough to attack me better go oh oh she's gonna die uh, I can't help her I'm sorry but yeah a lot of people don't realize that um, really when you're attacking people if you always die when you're attacking a group next time try to go for the uh, for the ones with the highest attack and the lowest health because you always see, you know, if someone has a lot of attack, like they say, let's say um, it was Zatanna, who has a lot of power, but not a lot of um, health, the then go attack them first, because they're the ones doing the damage. The um, tanks are only... Here, I'm going to pick up a meteor and throw it. The tanks are only um, soaking up the damage you provide. So, if you're getting killed a lot, by if your group is getting killed a lot by the other group, and it's like a fair fight, um, try attacking the weakest link first. The weakest link, uh, small but terrible. And hopefully if that is their damage provider, then once their damage is out, the tank can only provide so much damage, but his job is mainly to soak up. But if you're Batman or Superman, you know, a lot of different things, but that's definitely one way to look at it too, is, um, attack the weakest link with the highest attack first. Because they're probably the ones providing the attack. And then next, go for the supports. Because they're the one keeping up the frontliners going. All the strategy behind it. Sometimes it's true. Sometimes they're the weaker ones and you should go for the tank. You know, every strategy de 
varies depends on the game so know your opponent be able to adjust adapt quickly that should be what well. can i come help batman yeah batman's not really wanting to work with me here he's got he sees me and he's like okay you got this i'm going to there we go and there's dev in the background normally what i do is um well it doesn't matter yeah, I'll tell you guys. I like to, when the enemy's about to lose, you know, go on their bridge and do slash dance and then my character starts dancing. It's pretty hilarious. I don't think I got in recording, but here we go. We're working with Mecha Super Mad, Atomic Green Lantern, Shazam, Cyborg, and me. It's a very powerful uh, group of heroes. You could say this is like a Justice League itself. You know, a man of steel. You've got Mecha Superman, who probably really is a man of steel. <laughs> no, he's Optimus Prime, obviously. I think I'm gonna go for an offensive type of build here again. And yeah, I'll get that mask. Um, a lot of people like to get the Crime Bible, but I like to get that mask and then later on sell it if I remember to. We're gonna do the 4 up 1 down strategy again. Uh, it's finally great to be working. Oh, look at me. Absorbing the solar energy. So here we go. It's great to be. Oh, the lag. Oh, yes, I. I hate to tell you guys this, but you could tell there's a quite a bit of lag in this game. It's not fun, but I don't know. When I when I used to, when I'm not recording, there isn't usually any lag, and you'd think lag is caused by internet because you can see the game running flawlessly. I don't know, but here we are working with Shazam and Optimus Prime from Transformers. Let's go. Just kidding, Mecha Superman. Now the history behind Mecha Superman is um. Is basically Clark Kent is actually just a human and he's not from Krypton and this Kryptonian probe crashes now here we go let me try to get him now you see Batman over there gaslight Batman has a lot of attack but he doesn't have too much health oh there we go he's in our oh that was a bad mood for doomsday we got him all right there you go I was the main killer no, I was the main guy who beat him and three other assists and maybe we can still go there you go make a Superman one of his oh Microphone's falling on me. One of his signature skills. I think it's a signature. I don't know. I don't remember. No, it's not a signature, but fissure wall, I think it's called. Um, that's where you saw right there. He puts a he puts um, a wall, and it stops both allies and enemies from getting through it. So um, properly using it could be good, and improperly doing so can block your allies. But yeah, the background behind him is a Kryptonian probe that landed in Kansas. And so a young Clark Kent hooks it up to his family's tractor, I think? Or some sort of machine, and it materializes into some recognizable being. And so they play this game of superhero, a superhero game. Clark Kent calls it Superman, in which the man could right all wrongs and save the day, be the superhero. Um, now the robot, Mecha Superman, he wasn't called Mecha Superman at that time. He never, he, he still was Cal too. Um, the Mecha Superman's name, in a way, is Cal. K.A.L. I don't know what it stands for. Um, but it, uh, here we go, I'm being attacked by the turret. Can I kill him before the turret kills me? Oh, I gotta run, I gotta run. There's two of them, and plus a turret, I could die. Um... So one day, a young Clark Kent, sadly, you can just watch the profile, the champion profile if you want, or you can just listen to my boring voice. But uh, a young Clark Kent on his way home from school is run over or hit by a drunk driving accident and his life dies. At that point, Mecha Superman, formerly known as Cal, K-A-L, learned the true meaning he understood finally why humans dreamed of superheroes. So let me throw this card then. There we go. Get some money and XP. He learns finally what it means and why humans dream of superheroes. So he he also does the you know the cliche I swear to fight for truth and justice, and that's how Mecha Superman came into being. And so one of the interesting quotes that I think it's funny is um, if you're Superman and you're fighting Mecha Superman and you beat him, he, he'll sometimes say, you are not the Superman. It's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of quotes. I love, this is one thing I like about this game too, is that the interactivity. I'm about to die. Kill him. Yes! Ooh, lucky me. All right, can we take this post? That, that's 100 coins right there. And I could use 100 coins. 
So yeah, um, it's um really I like what about this game. I I think there are some mobas that do this. I'm not sure. Um, I've only played League of Legends and Infinite Crisis. Please don't get started on the Infinite Crisis versus League of Legends arguments because they're getting old and they're really similar. So really, it's just which do you prefer, you know? And if you're a comic, this is obviously for comic fans. So if you're a comic fan, you'll probably want to go with this, but. Um, I don't really care. I just like this game and I'm playing it. Uh, yeah. So anyways. Um, I kind of lost my trend of thought. Trend of thought. And, uh... Oh yes, interactivity. That's what I was talking about. These characters talk to each other too. It's really cool. Um, I don't know if the clip, like, plays for all the players. Because it's got, it would be kind of cool if it did. Oh, oh, he's trying to pull a signature. Little Billy Batson. Or whoever this guy is. Alright, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Who's gonna be who? Oh yeah, Optimus Prime, Mecha Superman, coming to help me. Here we go, Superman and Mecha Super- There, that's that's a good example of um, how to properly use Mecha Superman's fissure wall. Oh, bam. Taking the children was a bad move. Alright, me and Mecha Superman. That's a really good combo. Really good team right there. And I got him. I'm relentless. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. A Superman and Mecha Superman working together, as you can see right here. You could call that a Superman Dynasty. The Superman Duo. Um, but yeah, I have another friend that if he plays this game and he likes it, he's going I, He's going to use real money. But I mean, who can blame him? This is DC. I, I was so tempted. I did use Superman. I bought him with real money. Um, I have like 5,000 something right now, merit coins, but um, originally I was planning on buying him the fair and square away, but I was just so tempted, I'm like, I gotta have Superman. So now I have him, and now also I, with the remaining coins I have, they put a discount on his uh, classic Superman, so I definitely bought that. Um, I'm gonna use that a little now and then, so if there is an enemy Superman, I hate going up against other Superman because it's always like this. Every you and the other guy, you guys all know if there's a character of your same type, you're like it's always like some sort of battle between you, a personal battle between who's the better of their character. And I I don't like going up against other Superman, but just if in case I do, I have my classic Superman, so we don't look exactly the same. Oh look, it's Optimus Prime again, coming to help us. You can tell, you can tell, just based off of his looks, that he's a tank type. And he is. His health is really high. And, um, I would definitely recommend getting him. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Barely got out of that. Barely. It was, like, starting up, and I was lucky nobody locked onto me. Oh, can I intercept? Oh, okay. I was gonna intercept him. But yeah, me and my friend, one of my friends, he's a trumpet. I'll call him Lay Trumpet the Warrior, for now. And le unless he wants me to use his real name or anything, but to be safe, I use a username. And so, late trumpet warrior, he he likes the game. He's going to use real money, or maybe he wants to do it the fair and square way. He's gonna get Nightmare Superman. So if we get if once they add clans or groups or leagues, whatever, to the game, well, definitely I'm gonna make a Superman Dynasty kind of clan, and it's gonna be me, him, and we're gonna look for a Mecha Superman to add to our ranks, whether it's one of our friends or a, a friendly and guy that's good at this game, a friendly good guy on this game that's good at Mecha Superman, we'll recruit him into our ranks. Um, for me, what I do for uh, skill upgrades, I go for Man of Steel first off, and then Kryptonian Might next. Those are the two priorities I have. Now the reason I go for that is, um, now I know uh, some of you are like, uh, why Man of Steel? Well, you know, kind of obvious for, you know, defensive purposes. I think it's actually pretty useful. But um, why do I go for Kryptonian Might next? Well, um, Superman is an attack damage champion. So a lot of his um, skills, a lot of his damage is going to be based off of attack damage versus power damage. And, as much as I think Superman should be a power damage, not in terms... I mean, if power damage is their way of saying... Oh, let me go assist this guy. Boom! Using my signature skill right there. Um, the reason I would say that... Um, that well, if power, like I said, if power is their way of saying that's magic, then... Yeah, Superman can go with attack, but basically... Well, anyways... 
Um, the reason I go for that is Kryptonian Light is based off of attack damage, and since you're gonna be if you if you follow the traditional Superman way, which is going through with attack items, then a lot of your attack's gonna be based off of can I do this? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Ooh, he's trying to escape with that slingy thing. And Frost Breath, yes. Okay. But the reason I do that is like I said, keep getting interrupted. Um a lot of my damage is gonna be based off of attack damage, so Kryptonian Might is a skill that's about attack damage and next after that I mean I upgrade I normally upgrade my signature skill whenever it's upgradable but next I go for heat vision because as you notice the dash attack is also based off of attack damage so that'll um, normally I do frost breath frost breath last frost breath is definitely useful but um, in terms of damage it doesn't do the most damage for me none of my skill it's really Kryptonian might and my Attack damage and signature skill that do the real damage. Heat vision. I read this from a guide. From a guide, uh, heat vision and frost breath. They'll do their thing, but it's not for the attack damage. Definitely, if you're gonna get it for. Um, so yeah, that's why I focus on that. Ooh, Shazam gonna get him. Can I cut him off? Can I cut off Batman? Oh, Batman. Gaslight. Batman's going. Always going around. Maybe I can come around and cut him off. I don't want to give too much chase because if you chase too much, that means the guy is just trying to lure you into a trap, and that would be dangerous. All right, we got him, we got him. My heat vision's ready. Oh, we got him. There you go, cyborg. There you go. Oh man, I wasn't on the assist list, but oh well. Let me see if I can assist this guy. Now th that robot thing is actually pretty useful. They can withstand a good amount of punishment. Uh, they don't dish out damage themselves that much, but they do do a good amount of damage. Um, when I used to play as Robin, Robin's really cool. I, I'm i planning on buying him as my secondary character once I can afford him. And if he's what I really want to buy. I'm um, gonna get Robin definitely. He's not, he's definitely, I mean a lot of people don't like to go with Robin because a lot of people aren't really good or they don't like to play the support role because um, yeah. if you're just playing Robin, you know, regularly, he's not gonna be able to take people one-on-one -on -one for the most part, obviously. But um, if you do cer certain circumstan circumstances, you can do so. But yeah, I like Robin and uh, I kind of forgot why I was talking about him. Oh yeah, I remember now. It's because uh, with Robin, I teamed up with that robot and it worked pretty well actually. Oh, and we won. There we go. We beat him again. Victory. Victory. This is the classic Superman look. I'll be flying in in just a couple. And this is me. That's what the classic Superman skin looks like. Obviously it's not diff not that much different, but it's pretty cool for those hardcore comic fans that can see those tiny differences that matter. It's kinda kinda cool. Um yeah. Showing a little couple clips of me playing as him and I'm going with a T build this time for uh, classic Superman and that's kinda the thing I'm gonna do and I'm classic Superman, I'll uh, use a tanky build, and when I use the regular Superman, I'll go for the more of the uh, attack build. That's uh, what I'm getting a little bit at. That's the range. If you check on my map, and then you see where that came from, it's, it's about a fourth of Gotham Heights map. Superman's range. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you want to. And this is my gameplay of Infinite Crisis Super. This is a job for Super. Three.